A few leaks regarding the new features we may anticipate have surfaced, and Samsung is less than two months away from revealing their next-generation flagship smartphone. Though it seems that certain features of the phone may be missed, the whole S24 family is expected to include significant changes, including as a 1440p screen for the Plus model and a titanium frame for the Ultra. Recently, information on each variant's RAM capacity was released by a well-known leaker known as Ice Universe. It is very lacking in impact. In all variants, the base Galaxy S24 will only offer 8GB of RAM. Happily, a Geekbench listing has already revealed that the Galaxy S24 Plus will have 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM available. It is anticipated that the S24 Ultra would feature the same configuration as its predecessor. It's possible that it will offer more internal storage. Since several mid-range Chinese phones now offer up to 24 gigabytes of memory, it's very surprising that the Ultra won't have a 16 gigabyte RAM option. No one is able to. Why hasn't Samsung adopted this strategy as well? Their capacity to manage AI tasks on the device will be severely hampered by the S24 lineup's low memory. It is well known that these tasks use a considerable amount of memory. Samsung seems to be promoting the AI capabilities of the S24 series primarily, based on recent patents. Similar to how Google handles the Pixel 8 Pro, all of it could need to be sent to the cloud. A customized DRAM that Samsung Semiconductor believes is ideal for mobile artificial intelligence and gaming applications was announced in the press in the meanwhile. A video from Samsung introduced this new DRAM, which is known as LLW DRAM, Low Latency Wide I.O. According to the video, this solution's low latency features seem to be matched with its usual placement next to the CPU on a society. It's interesting that the video implies that these chips won't replace DRAM entirely, but rather would enhance the CPU. There are rumors that the Galaxy S24 series of smartphones may be the first to use this chip, however it's unclear when precisely Samsung chipsets will start utilizing it. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.